it's uh, Saturday the 14th of May it's about half past five in the morning as per usual I come out and do my uh, two and a bit hours if I can before work this is a plant of Willow's Violet and it's ready for its second stop and if we look at the plant we've got six nice even uh, stems there with at least two pairs of leaves on each so it's now time, and I've been doing it on most of them, um, to remove the grain tips. I tend not to take that fine tip out there because all you get is a couple of pairs that come out the, at the tip that bud very quickly. So I just go one more down and I just pinch them out with a finger and thumb, leaving two pairs of leaves. The whole plant's done that not easy to do and film at the same time like that one, two another one there two pairs and the last one in there so that now gives us six shoots two pairs of leaves on each to uh, shoot away and there's always one that comes low down <laughs> that you miss so we'll do that and as it's a facial shoot we'll just take the tip out so that's done now next time this plant will be stopped will be somewhere around about the second third week of June by which time there'll be a lot of uh, longer shoots on there and that should give me probably in excess of 50 shoots on this plant of willows violet which is about what I'd like for flowering I don't count them <laughs> once they come if any buds are produced later then I'll just uh, pinch those stems back we've been potting now for this last few days continually um, in the mornings and evenings and that's the willows and there's other plants there they're all coming outside it's got to hope there's no frost and as we go down they go all the way down the bed there and the same going into the sun over there um, about 540 odd plants potted and uh, we're just going to then start moving on to getting the ground or the, the holes and marking out ready for planting. Now one thing um, that does happen, and I try to avoid using these plants, is uh, you get a bit of what I would say is premature budding coming in there. This is a Winholm Diane. It can do it every now and again. Um, You've got a choice. You can do that. Take the growing tip out. We don't want any energy going into the bud, um, which leaves a plant that's going to give you some side shoots. I tend to double stop it anyway. Um, but generally, those plants that I have done this to, I will avoid planting because if they're going to bud prematurely, it's quite likely they're going to do that later on in the ground and it'll make a hard plant to control this is a, a batch I'll probably end up planting out the first ones you saw earlier in the, the films was there um, and we've had such hot weather we haven't had any rain really apart from a tiny shower um, last week the plants are really romping on I've got about 110 plants of this Winholm dye and potted into the, the 5 inch pots and hopefully plants like that um, when I sort them out to the ones I'm planting I'll be able to avoid um, using that and also avoid using the, the, the bigger ones there choice gives you that luxury um, and it's thanks to uh, a few people that helped me out with some plants and tubers where I've lost a few of these that's, that's put me back in the position I'd like to be
Monday the 16th of May. Just starting to mark out now. Done all the undercover area. Little white labels I shall show you soon. Those that are, you can actually see that is those on the ends of the canes. Um, as I said before, in the first cover there's four beds, three foot between the paths and two foot between the plants. And then under the second cover, three beds, um, generally about 50 plants per bed, four foot between the rows and two foot between the plants. I just mark, mark each plant in spot with a single cane and then go along and mark out where each variety is going to go and use one of the white tags. So I've just got the uh, outside area to finish marking out and then uh, it'll be ready for starting to dig all the holes 600 holes to dig ready for planting you can see the plants still along the edge there and over the back um, which are sitting waiting for planting time as I've put up the plants um, into their final pots. I tend to mark on this list, like a master list, how many I've potted. So there's Canora Valentine. I wanted 30 and I've potted up 36, giving me 6 spare. Canora Challenger, I've potted up 46 for 40 plants wanted. And that gives me an idea then of, of exactly what sort of numbers I've got. Um, I then just write four of these labels per variety and they just tear off and I put those on the top of each cane at the start and end of each row so when it comes to planting it becomes a bit like painting by numbers but with plants um, it just makes sure I know exactly where everything's going if there is a few extra plants to be had I know what spare varieties I've got and spare plants so I could just add those in I subtract them if I've got a bit carried away so that's what we're just doing now just in preparation for planting which will be probably a week on Wednesday next week <coughs> Tuesday the 17th of May early morning again um, but we've just finished putting all the marker canes out 600 canes turns the uh, plot into a bit of a bamboo factory more than anything else uh, you see if you can in the back there the sprinkler is going, doesn't work that well um, and that's a bit going on now for about an hour and a half per area, we haven't had any solid rain at all probably since um, end of Feb and the ground is very dry, it's most unusual um, but I really don't want to be planting into such dry ground, I want to get the fertiliser that's gone in activated and water helps do that so I'll move that around and just, just try to get some water into the plot um, before we start planting in about a week's time. Uh, you may remember a couple of weeks back we potted these uh, some plants into the moist, uh, expand and grow compost and you can see now that the roots are out and about a good strong root haven't started going around the bottom of the pot as yet um, I wouldn't expect them to um, that would be before I plant out this being a plant of Canora Valentine and as you can see it's not really any different um, to the others in fact this one's been potted less than less time than those and it's been very hard to overwater um, it does seem to drain very well I've had a bit of a problem on um, some of the other varieties where I've been watering a lot as, as there's been no rain um, some pots seem to hold it and getting a little bit of root rot I haven't had any of that with this compost as it seems to just drain through and retain just what it needs um, as we go so so far so good we'll see what happens when the plants go in the ground so about a week, week to go before planting um, the next jobs will be digging the 600 holes now the plants that I first potted probably about the third, fourth week of April um, there of Winholm Dying um, are probably going to be a little bit too big to, for planting they will harden up again um, and going to be hard to handle 
those ones there and down are probably going to be the ones that I'll go with. Um, there's about 120 plants there of Winholm to pick the 70 that I'm growing so I can pretty much afford to uh, not use those ones there and they've become pot tubers to guarantee some stock for next year if the field tubers don't perform. This area here has got the most recent um, potted plants again they're all going to be okay for about a week's time someone asked me um, why do I grow the varieties that I grow and pure and simply um, one they've got to be reliable two they've got to be potentially the best in their section um, Winholm Diane is, is that um, the only one that's near it is Ruskin Diane but I don't need to grow two I just need one the bars of small decks um, Miniature Ball is a bit of an oddity maybe I, I grow Dave's Choice as my main variety um, opposed to Mary's Germander I am growing Mary's Germander as well um, 40 plants because I do need two Miniature Balls but my main one being Dave's Choice and I just think on the day um, if it's grown well and you can deal with it it's going to be a better vase or potentially a better vase than the, the Mary's Germander and the same with Narrow's Tresia um, these varieties seem to suit me I can't grow um, any of the glorious certainly to the level that I need to um, to compete with the guys from the north so I don't grow it um, I'm trying this year after a little go last um, Oakwood Goldcrest which is in my mind possibly the only uh, small semi cactus that can be good enough on the day to hold its own to Kiwi um, the miniature deck Rykoff Jan is probably one of the most reliable there I grow it quite well as well and hopefully that will compete against the Kiwis um, that I haven't got and level the points we can't grow a moon, uh, moonlight Green Moonlight or any of the siblings down this part of the country um, so we're trying the Hillcrest Candy um, but the Poms generally are there to give me that extra classification uh, for the Terry Clark and if they're good enough they will get as many points as, as any um, other vase in the class so it's, all, it's really all about points I don't grow any varieties because I particularly like them it's because they've got every chance if they've grown well of winning and getting the maximum points on the bench you'll see a lot of the varieties as we go through and how we grow them and hopefully um, it'll make a little bit more sense further down the line